Howdy folks, welcome back to uh, My World of Tanks Replays with a Mighty Jingles. Uh, no replays in this video however, uh, there is absolutely no gameplay in this video whatsoever, so if you came here looking for uh, for tank battles, uh, have a look at my ISE 152 video that I also uploaded today. This one is purely informational. It's how to install mods for World of Tanks. Uh, there have been quite a few people requesting information on you know, how you actually go about installing mods into your game, uh, and where can you get mods for the game, so that's, that's all this video is about. Um, so, with that said, here we go. Two ways I would recommend installing mods in World of Tanks. There's the uh, quick and easy way, and then there's the old-fashioned way. And the quick and easy way is to get yourself this software, this, this program here, the Curse Client. You can get it from curse.com. Uh, I'll provide links in the details of this description uh, of this video. Uh, and basically, it, it, it's, a, it's, it's a little application that completely automates uh, installing mods into the game. As you can see, these are the games I have that it supports. World of Warcraft, World of Tanks, Minecraft and Skyrim. There are my World of Warcraft mods. It will let you know if the mod uh, is up to date or whether or not there's an up update available for it. You don't have to go looking for it. Uh, if, if, for example, my NPC scan here in World of Warcraft had a new version, it would have new version available. You just click the button and it automatically updates it for you. World of Tanks, exactly the same functionality. Now, at the moment, this is a fresh install, no mods installed. Click the Get More Mods button, and it allows you to filter. So, all categories, and there's all sorts of stuff available here. But you can obviously filter it by, for example, user interface. And what we're going to do here, we're going to install Demol's Damage Panel. There it is, Demol's Damage Panel. Now, uh, you click on the mod that you're interested in, and you can hit the description button, and it tells you what it does. Very sleek tank panel with full damage readouts. Tells you how to install it if you're not going to use the Curse Client. Um, click the change log button and every time there's an update it will it will tell you, you know, what has changed. And then you can click the website button and it takes you straight to the curse.com webpage for that mod. And there we go. That's what it looks like in game. And showing you various different views, tanks on fire, tanks knocked out, tanks damaged, shows you what's damaged and so on and so on. Um, just to give you an idea of what you're downloading, decide in advance whether you're going to like it or not. And there's two ways of doing it. From the website you can uh, click download now and it will give you the option of installing via the Curse client or just opening it with WinZip. Well, we're not going to open it with WinZip right now. We're going to go back to the Curse Client and we're going to install it automatically via the Curse Client, just by clicking on the Install button. You can see we have a download going. There it is. And once the download's complete, if we go to World of Tanks, click on My Mods, bang, there you go. Installed Mods, Demol's Damage Panel. So that's my new Damage Panel mod. Uh, now, if you're not going to use the Curse Client, uh, it's completely free, it's supported by advertising as you can see here, then you can do it the old fashioned way. And this is how you do it. So uh, let's go back to the web page for Demol's Damage Panel and click here to begin the download. So what will happen is, um, and this is how you would go ahead uh, and install mods that you were installing from, for example, the World of Tanks forums, where there's um, in the fan, oh, the general creativity section of the forums, there tends to be uh, a sub forum dedicated to mods. And usually at the top of the forums, there's a pinned topic with an up to date list of all the latest patch 8 compatible mods. And if you're going to download from there, then this is the sort of thing you'd be presented with. So here's your zip file. So open up the zip file. And there it is. Um, anything downloaded from Curse, you can freely ignore this Curse mod folder. Basically, it's just it's just a text uh, a text file uh, explaining where you got the file from. You know, don't need to worry about that. You're looking at this folder here, the GUI folder. Now, if you go to your World of Tanks folder, you will see. So there we go, World of Tanks, and then we have a Res Mods folder. And inside that Res Mods folder is a, a subfolder for every version of the game that there has ever been yeah, effectively now we're currently playing on version 8 so that's where you want to install the mod version 8 uh, oh and inside the version 8 folder there is a GUI folder and literally all you do 
is you want to copy this GUI folder over that GUI folder. So you would literally, and I'm not going to do it because I've already just installed it myself using the curse client, but you just drag that straight into the 0 0.8 res mods folder. And screw it, let's go ahead and do it because it's exactly the same file. Yeah. Yeah, replace everything. And that's the mod installed. It's as simple as that. It really isn't any more complicated than that. The tricky part is understanding where you need to put the mods in the first place. And that's what trips most people up when they have never installed a mod before. So go to World of Tanks, Res Mods, look for the version of the game that you're playing, and all the mods that you download, generally speaking, go into the GUI folder. Uh, some of them will go into the Flash folder. Uh, well, in fact, this is exactly where Demol's damage panel has gone. Because if we look into GUI, we'll see that there's nothing there. But, oh, there's a flash subfolder, and, and there they go. TL text, damage panel, SWF, and battle messenger, SWF. And there they all are. And that is the mod installed. And it is as simple as that.